Welcome to the fifth day of Disney Princess Week. For this entire week, we will be exploring the full stories of the first seven Disney princesses by learning about their original tales, their background, and how they affected Disney and the world. A lot of pressure on me today. Belle is one of my favorite Disney princesses, so I gotta make this video good. In Walt Disney's classic Beauty and the Beast from 1991, Belle grew upon the redefined Disney princess. Like Ariel before her, Belle longed for adventure. Not only was she looking for a life beyond herself, but she also stood up for herself and was an intelligent, well-read woman. These were characteristics audience had never seen out of one of Disney's princesses before. Belle continued to bring the modern princess into reality. Hello, I'm Isaac from Watso Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people, and today I'm going to explain Belle's full story. If you are interested in checking out all of Belle's appearances, I provided all of the links to her movies and the resources I used in the description. In the original story of Beauty and the Beast, Belle was simply known as Beauty or Little Beauty as a nickname while her actual name was never revealed. In this story, Beauty had three brothers and two older sisters who were described as wicked and selfish and because of their wealth pretended to be great ladies and only associated themselves with people of quality. They were all very physically beautiful, but only Beauty was lovely and pure on the inside. The family was so wealthy, in fact, that she at one point lived in a mansion until her father lost all his fortune at sea. To survive without their wealth, Beauty's family was forced to live in a small farmhouse. In the 1991 animated film, it is implied Belle and her father Maurice had moved to the village at some point after Belle's birth, although it was never made clear when they moved to the village or why. In the 2017 live action film, Belle and Maurice were said to come from Paris to the village because of the plague after the death of Belle's mother. If you'd like to learn everything we know on Belle's mother, click the card above or check out the description of this video for my video on her. Belle felt contained within the poor provincial town. The townspeople weren't below her in her mind. She was upset people looked down upon her for her academic pursuits and was tired of the routines which became so redundant she had them memorized. This was a town where girls aspired to do nothing more than marrying well. She just didn't want a trivial life when she knew there were so many opportunities beyond her town. I feel you, Belle. Pursue your dreams. Furthermore, Belle loved to pursue knowledge and stories reading all of the novels owned by the bookkeeper. She loved to experience the grand stories and learn about the world around her. These books also provided her with an elevated language, an active imagination, an open mind, large confidence, and the ability to freely think and speak her opinions. Although these ideas were new, especially to women, Maurice always believed in his daughter and supported her independence. Over time, Belle not only thinks opposite to the town, but is willing to stand up for herself, refusing to be mistreated, undermined, humiliated, demeaned, or controlled by anyone. She wasn't going to change for any other person. In the 2017 version, Belle is not only a bookworm, but also an inventor. For example, we see her create inventions to do laundry, freeing time to teach young girls how to read, to give them an education. Belle was nothing like the rest of the townspeople, but what truly distinguished her was her open heart. Unlike most characters in the film, Belle was not concerned about her or others' appearances. She had the ability to look past how people appeared and see into their hearts. Belle's life was full of monotony until her father went to journey to sell his invention in the 1991 version and his music boxes in the 2017 version and stumbled upon a dark castle in the woods. After escaping wolves and requiring shelter, Maurice voyaged into the castle and for his trespassing, the monstrous beast who was the ruler of the castle declared him as a prisoner. After discovering her family's horse, Philippe, back without her father, Belle races to find him. In the stage version, this moment is changed slightly. Instead of discovering Philippe, Belle discovers a lucky scarf she knitted for her father in the hands of LeFou, which indicated to her her father was likely endangered. In the original story, when her father is captured, he sells Belle off to the Beast due to her sisters refusing to go with the Beast. 
in the 1991 animated film, once she finds the castle and discovers her father, he begs for her to leave him be and to save herself. But Belle selflessly can only think of her father, so when the beast confronts her, she willingly gives herself up as his prisoner in exchange for her father's life. The Beast held the key to Belle's prison, but he didn't have the key to her heart, and her yearning spirit wouldn't be kept prisoner. In the original work, the Beast received Beauty graciously, informing her that she was a mistress of the castle and that he was her servant. They would hold lengthy conversations, and he would give her lavish clothing and every night ask her to marry him, but she would always decline. One of the reasons she said no was because she would dream of a handsome prince asking her to marry him and became convinced that the beast was holding the prince captive somewhere in the castle. She wandered the castle for the prince but never found him. The beast's caring demeanor in the original is one change to rage and acts of lashing out on Belle, but his servants were hopeful he could make a change. Although in the original film, the Beast describes the castle to be filled with invisible servants, in the 1946 version and onwards, these invisible servants are actually enchanted items across the castle who befriend and entertain Belle. While exploring the castle after a fine French meal and show to make her more comfortable in the castle and more open to being charmed by the Beast, Belle's curiosity pulls her to the West Wing against the Beast's wishes. When he discovers her near the Enchanted Rose, which determines the length of time he would remain a beast, he lashes out, forcing her to feel she needed to flee the castle, but the danger would only increase with that decision. Out in the woods, the vicious wolves that attacked Maurice threaten Belle, but luckily the beast comes after her to keep her safe and fights them off. After he risks his own life to save hers, she begins to see past his appearance and dark side. She realizes that deep inside him, there might be something more than she or he has ever dreamed. This is when Belle and Beast truly begin to fall in love. In Beauty and the Beast, the Marvel comics, Belle begins to teach the Beast how to read while the Beast begins to make her breakfast, dress the castle in holly, and mend items he has destroyed in his rages. We see him putting forth effort to show he cares. In the film Belle's Magical World, we see Belle helping out others' enchanted object friends, Webster, Crane, and La Plume, showing over time she begins to befriend everyone in the Beast's castle and open herself up more. And in Beauty and the Beast and the Enchanted Christmas, Belle attempts to bring back to the castle the one ceremony the Beast hates the most, Christmas. Through this pursuit, Belle and the Beast learn more about one another and together get to celebrate the holiday. The duo becomes closer and more playful over time by having snowball fights, eating together, giving each other gifts, and feeding the birds around the castle. They are both gaining a friend who understands and accepts them for who they are, which brings them to begin to fall in love. They share a wonderful evening together, dancing and were mesmerized by each other, but the evening does not continue forever. In Disney's version, once Belle learns her father is sick, attempting to save her, the Beast frees her, for he truly loved her. In the original story, Beauty asks to see her family again and promises to return in eight days time. Beauty's two sisters purposely ask her to stay longer than her time agreement in this tale under the pretense of missing her and genuinely loving her, but in reality, they just want to see Beauty end up likely devoured by the enraged beast because she had broken her word. In the 1991 animated film, after reviving her father, Belle is confronted by the town and the obsessive suitor and town hero, Gaston, who is similar to the character of Avenant from the 1946 tale. Gaston threatens to throw Maurice into an insane asylum if she does not choose to marry him, for Maurice was blabbering on of a ferocious beast. Belle attempts to convince the town that her father was sane by showing them the beast, but by discovering that the beast was real, they decide to take action to protect their village and destroy the monster. Belle follows Gaston's militia to the castle, for she knew the beast was in trouble, while in the original story, Beauty returns to the castle because she finds out that the beast is dying from a broken heart in her long absence, which was achieved by the beast's instructions to place her ring on a table when she wanted to return. After the beast fights Gaston and the militia, 
the Beast is reunited with Belle, but the Beast has been fatally injured. While in the original, Beauty dreamt of a fairy who promised to grant her a wish because of her good heart and wishes to revive the Beast. In Disney's version, in the Beast's dying moments, Belle's love for the Beast comes through for she saw the man underneath his horrendous exterior, breaking the curse upon him and transforming him back into a man. At the end of the original story, Belle and the Beast get married and the sisters are punished by the fairy in Beauty's dreams to become statues for the malice in their hearts, while Belle and the Beast are married in the book Disney Princess Royal Weddings. Belle had stayed strong, loved the Beast with her whole heart, and had found true happiness. In every iteration since the 1991 classic, Belle has remained a symbol of women's ability to achieve intelligence and independence in every aspect of their life. And once upon a time, Belle remains an avid lover of books and falls in love with the most villainous and cruel man in the land, Rumpelstiltskin. Belle may have fallen for a monster, but she shows her strength by refusing to stay with him when he acts to hurt those around her and forces him to choose between her and darkness on numerous occasions. In Descendants, after Belle marries the now human beast, together they united the kingdom, imprisoned all of the villains, and had their son Ben establishing peace across Oridon. Belle is also featured across Disney parks in shows and parades, and her house has even been brought to life in the Magic Kingdom. Like all Disney princesses before her, Belle was kind and pure-hearted, but what she brought forth was an era of princesses who were also intelligent and willing to stand up for their ideas. Belle further pushed the Disney princesses into becoming role models and is sometimes herself used as a hallmark of women's liberation and is used to encourage children to pursue their love of reading and literature. Belle showcased to girls they could resist what society wanted them to be. Girls could be educated, follow their dreams, and find love in the most unexpected places. So now it's time for the question of the day. Which Disney princess do you think is the best role model? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section along with any other ideas you have for future Discovering Disney episodes. I have many more princess videos coming your way this week. So if you like to stay up to date with new magical videos, then click that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. To see more Watso videos, then check out some awesome pics over here. And finally, thanks for watching and have a magical day.